Hello everyone, I am Dr. Mayo Khajra and today I am going to make ECG simplified. This is important for NEED PG, I said FMG and final prof exam. And I got AIR 29 in NEED PG 2023 and I also worked as non-academic JR in the emergency medicine. So I have a bit of basic knowledge about dealing with ECGs and have seen many ECGs which I am going to show also. So coming to the waveforms of ECG, the first part you all know, it is basically the last 12 what you have read that is only given here. So P wave is atrial depolarization, QRS is ventricular depolarization, T wave is ventricular repolarization and U wave is repolarization of the papillary muscles. Important thing is the PR interval which you can see here and the QT interval. So, PR interval is something that is associated with the AV nodal conduction and it is mainly 120 to 200 millisecond. This is important. Okay, the value is important. QRS is ventricular depolarization and it is 80 to 100 milliseconds. And QT is ventricular depolarization and ventricular repolarization and it is 360 to 440 milliseconds and the squares are also given uh, it is 9 to 11 small squares in case of QT prolongation or PR interval increase there would be increase in all this one important question that has come is the P pulmonary that is more than equal to 2.5 mm this has come in INICT 2022 so the P wave would be more than 2.5 square height of the P wave that means it is P pulmonary and P mitral, there is bifurcation, the P wave. First thing that you have to calculate is the heart rate. So, simplified formula, I would say that is 300 divided by the number of large squares you get between in the RR interval. It is the simplified and more simplified approach is that if it is less than 3 large squares, then the heart rate is obviously greater than. 100 per minute so it is a tachycardia because you have to see in the ECG and say that it is tachycardia or bradycardia means it is tachyarrhythmia or bradyarrhythmia so you have to see the number of large squares if it is more than 5 large squares the rate is less than 60 so this is so much simplified okay now coming to the approach to arrhythmia arrhythmia is of two types that is the tachyarrhythmia and the bradyarrhythmia now before going further I would say you about a marvelous app that is you can practice all the ECGs and also previous year questions from reflex app containing NEET and AIMS previous year questions past 10 year questions of NEET and AIMS. The thing I like the most is the synapse is there that has integration of all the topics like hematology all the subjects are integrated nephrology all the subjects medicine to pathology to physiology all are integrated and the best thing is retina that has all the important pyqs so like this this is a question from one of the retina only i tried to solve it and i marked it correctly because you can see that there is broad qrs complex and the patient has come to emergency so the vitals are also unstable so the answer would be tc cardioversion now let's move further and before moving further you can get the link of the app in my description box below and in the pinned comment section. So coming to the first group that is the tachyarrhythmia. If there is white QRS complex and the heart rate if it is 100 to 250 then it is ventricular tachycardia. If it is more than 250 it is ventricular flutter. Now in ventricular tachycardia also we can see if it is broad QRS and if it is monomorphic then it is a monomorphic VT which has been asked and in stable cases IV amiodarone in all unstable cases we would see that what we give so in all unstable ventricular tachycardia or be it uh, PSVT we all give one single treatment and this is called torsad disc point is like this you would see like oscillatory see this is an oscillatory no so if there is polymorphic ventricular tachycardia 
and the waves are looking like something of oscillation then this is a case of psvt and it happens in cases of qt prolongation and in stable cases we give ivmg so4 and this is a case of ventricular fibrillation the rhythm waves and the appearance is bag of worm this bag of worm is said in ganong textbook only in physiology i had read and ventricular flutter also you can see the rate would be more than 250 coming to the most important part of ecg that is if the qrs is normal then we have to see the p wave if it is present then see if whether each p wave is followed by qrs or not if it is yes then it could be atrial tachycardia if the p wave is normal and monomorphic and if there are more than three p wave morphologies it is a case of multifocal atrial tachycardia like you can see see this p wave morphology is different from this one this is much smaller and this one is much taller so more than equal to three p waves morphologies are seen generally and it is seen in copd this was also asked in previous year question and if all the p waves are not followed by qrs complex then it is atrial flutter sawtooth see you can see the appearance of sawtooth like saw lay t is to one two is to one ratios are seen and if the p wave is absent and heart rate you have to see if it is regular then it is a case of psvt like you can see regular interval two large squares that means a rate of 150 about 150 beats per minute but in case if it is irregular then it is a fib atrial fibrillation like see the rr interval is variable so the heart rate is also variable here see the rr interval it is much larger so in treatment of atrial fibrillation we follow the RACE protocol that is rate control, anticoagulation, chemical cardioversion and electrical cardioversion if required. In rate control the question was asked uh, Esmolol and Verapami are given in treatment. So this is asked multiple times and in anticoagulation if there is valvular pathology like mitral stenosis then the drug of choice is warfarin but if there is atrial thrombi then lower oral anticoagulants are good like dabigatran, uh, rivaroxaban these all drugs are good for atrial thrombi and in chemical cardioversion ibutalide and amiodarone are given that was also asked in question in case of psvt this is a very common case and i also got some psvt cases and it is a magic like these waves turn into a normal ECG wave as soon as you give adenosine. It means in a second and adenosine is so much fast acting in 6 seconds it acts. Its half life is about 12 seconds or 6 seconds. So uh, in stable cases we first give the carotid sinus massage so that the vehicle tone increases and it inhibits the heart. And after that we can give IV adenosine unstable cases i would tell in the end now in bradycardia we can see this is a conduction of electrical impulse in heart so if the pathology is in between uh, sa node and av node then there is first degree heart block where you can see only pr interval being increased that is more than 200 milliseconds in case of second degree heart block, it could be Mobitz 1 or Mobitz 2. In Mobitz 1, there is Wenke back phenomena and the pathology lies in the AV node. So, in AV node, if it is pathology is obstructing the flow, so at first you can see that the PR interval will increase. See, this is so much small, after that it has increased. After that, it has increased to max, and after that is a missed beat. And this question was only asked in two times aims. In Mobitz 2, the pathology lies after the AV node. So, in some cases, uh, the PR interval, if you check, if there is missed bit, check the PR interval just before. All are the same. Only 
one or two cases there are misfits but previous to the misfit and after the misfit the pr interval is same and in all the cases the pr interval is the same so this is a case of with two second degree heart block coming to third degree heart block that is also called av dissociation means there is no control of avn or sa node any pacemakers to the heart so the rr interval and the pp interval would be variable uh, this could be as you can see this is a two is to one ratio about uh, though it could be variable also so ventricular rate you can calculate by the rr interval and the pp interval is the atrial rate here would be one p here another here p so ventricular rate and atrial rate are different and both are autonomous coming to the electrolyte abnormalities and these are important questions hypokalemia hypo means under kalemia under kalemia potassium so q for u u wave would be seen and this is under so this is reduced so st would also be reduced and t would also be reduced so there would be inversion but as the t waves and st is reduced so something has to increase now so the p wave would increase and it could cause pseudo p pulmonal that was asked in neat pg 2028 and the clinical feature was given in the stem of the question that this patient comes with weakness and this ecg was given so this was also asked in neat pg 2022 coming to hyperkalemia you can see st elevation everything would be opposite remember the hypokalemia and everything would be opposite so there was st depression here would be st elevation there was p wave peaking there would be p wave flattening the t wave was inverted so the t wave would be peaked the pr interval would prolong widened qrs in case of acute hyperkalemia this is asked in many times aims question may be asked in pg also and i have done this in my medicine ward postings n number of times first step we give is calcium gluconate so that the arrhythmia is prevented after that we target to reduce the potassium that is by insulin drip salbutramol nebulization giving lasix if it is not controlled hemodialysis acute myocardial infarction STEMI is asked so in this image what we can see there is st elevation in lead number two three and avf so this is rca and uh, this is a case of inferior myocardial infarction inferior wall myocardial infarction and here we can see bradycardia also because the sa node conduction is affected similarly if there is led the obstructions left anterior descending artery obstruction then one avl uh, left sided leads one uh, v1 to v4 would be there would be st elevation in case of lcx uh, in the lateral the lateral wall mi the one avl v5 to v6 there would be st elevation in the posterior descending artery it is in the back so in the front there would be reciprocal changes so st depression in v1 to v4 if the uh, technician sees that there is depression in v1 to v4 he immediately does the reverse leads in our emergency also he used to do so there would be st elevation in v7 to v9 in the reverse leads now coming uh, that i told that all cases of tachycardia i would say in the end all cases of tachycardia if they are unstable they are given dc shock and if the p wave is present you can see the p wave and give the shock at that time so it is called a synchronized and if p waves are absent then no synchrony so it is non-synchronized and see how many number of times this has come need 2019 aims 2016 aims 2017 twice it is square so it is twice aims 2019 aims 2020 coming to one or two special that is here you can see ventricular bigemini that is 
more than two morphologies of QRS complex like this and this, these two morphologies, you can see this and this, it is seen in cases of digitalis poisoning. And then is the delta wave that you see in WPW syndrome, you all know the concept. If you don't, go study uh, your ECG classes, you would get to know why the delta wave is seen. And Osborne wave is seen in hypothermia, it was also asked in me. Now I am giving you some homeworks, these are not been asked in previous year questions, but you should study them. Okay, so AVRD, ECG you should study. Brugada syndrome, ECG you should study. Right bundle branch block and left bundle branch block, you have to see the ECGs and acute pericarditis. This four you do as homework. So everyone do subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Wo wala jo safed button hai, waha pe ja ke ECG karo ya fe jo bhi karo, subscribe ho jana chahiye, thik hai? And if you want to have one to one interaction with me, then you can join my channel, my YouTube channel. Then you can get access to the private Telegram channel where you can ask me any question and I would try to reply it. And as you know that there is a question at the end in my every video. So this has also been taken from retina of uh, reflex app only. And this is a good question. This was asked in previous year games also. So let's see the question, which of the following medication is not recommended for the treatment of the disease seen in the ECG below. So you carefully see the ECG, what it is given below, you diagnose the condition and tell the answer among these four options, which drug you won't give in this patient. Okay, so do let me know in the comment section below, I would try to give heart reacts to all the participants who have given answer correctly. Now you can see another video popping up. So go watch the video now. All the best. Take care. Bye-bye.